I attended Webber's Cinema Instead for making and storytelling school. Hi, I'm Casey Neistat and welcome to my monthly class. Um, it was never what I expected, nor did it go as planned. Other reviews focus on was Casey course worth $249? In this review, we will finish class together, talk about how much did Casey earn, what is monthly, and the good, the bad, and the ugly of this course. This class is a hands-on 30-day learning experience I have Masterclass, LinkedIn Learn, Skillshare, and I have bought some courses. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new... I'm not so proud of I personally have never heard of monthly before. So let's look at the monthly business model. Because the growth strategy seems to work. However, compared to other learning platforms, monthly is still a startup. Max Deutsch and Valentin Perez. Valentin? Created monthly in 2019. Whoa. Not a bad timing, no? In this Forbes article, founders talk about the business hype of monthly. According to one of the founders, most of our online learning platforms focus on passive consumption of video content. Their businesses are meant to be more about entertainment than education or experience. Instead of passive use, monthly classes experience Experiences focused on active creation and community. So this is what I did not expect. How important the community side of learning will be. The community aspect is what got me to persevere and film while being sick. Even though it feels like going back to school, the aspect of limited time and community just work. Monthly says completion rates are 10 times the industry average and students finish with new friends. Maybe because of this reason I started and sometimes didn't finish classes on our platform. But we are going to finish this one now. The point is, I highly dislike what I created for the second part but I will upload this video anyways because that is the whole point of this class. Just do what you can. I filmed while being sick and taking care of the baby. I edited at night. I did what I could. Let's address the elephant alone. How much did Casey earn? For that, we need to go back to monthly business model and ask, how often can you take this class? You see, monthly as God, I completely formed thinking it would be only this one class. Each class of monthly only runs five times per year. Even in his most important video description box, Casey wrote it will only run a few times per year. But I didn't read that before, did I? It is not possible to see how many people took that class. Let's keep it simple. Let's say 30% clicked on the link after watching Casey's video. I think it's quite a humble estimate, considering also monthly ads we've been running. Let's also say that on monthly side, only 1% actually finish the transaction in full. Almost 5,500 people pay 249. And this is only for a first quarter. The following course will get as many users as the first one. Let's say we'll have around 800 new users for monthly paying full price. We will be looking at additional $800,000. So in total, a little bit more than 2 million gross amount this year. Do you think I'm off? Is he bringing more or less? Monthly current instructors are earning seven figures per year, but our top instructors earning in multiple millions annually. They also say, we also offer the most competitive sales revenue split in the industry. For comparison, 30% of Skillshare's monthly revenue is put in a pool to pay the teachers. So let's say monthly is generous and there's 50-50 split with Casey. Casey would be still bringing home around 1 million this year. And I actually think it is humble estimate. I have seen a couple of comments like this. Just a money grabber. He has no teaching degree and professional experience. Let's talk about it. First of all, he's making money. 
good for him. At the end of the day, we all work to put food on the table for our family. Second of all, what does professional experience even mean today? Casey is a master storyteller. As humans, we learn the best from stories anyways. Consider the following. I consider myself lucky as my peer group was engaged and took the course seriously. So much so that we created a Discord channel to stay in touch, keep each other accountable and share feedback as well as tips and tricks. There are a few moments where you see Casey struggle, make a mistake or take multiple takes of him talking. Behind the scenes of Casey filming and editing somehow humanizes his figure. After all these years and success, he's facing challenges as any of us who are just starting. One lesson that stuck with me. If it is interesting to you, it could be interesting to others too. My peers talked about parks on buying light strips, hunting northern lights, their cars, hobbies, objects, pets, electrical installations in Taiwan. It was damn interesting. When it comes to skills you learn, it's not much to be honest. This class is not necessarily about acquiring knowledge, but more so about learning while doing it. What price would you give a class that gave you the kick you needed to start a YouTube channel? This class was bad for me. So let's take off the pink glasses, blue. As I mentioned, my peer group was great, but that's not everyone's experience. Imagine if you paid this price and you are the only one committing in your group. No feedback. You are on your own. That sucks. I wish they had a discussion forum and community manager. If monthly is listening, as startup should, we might see this implemented. If community management is done well, this aspect could be really the big win. But for now, it is a big minus. Somebody even created a Facebook group so that everyone could meet and stay in touch. Imagine if Monthly had planned for what happens after the class. They could have kept all that engagement and user activity on their website and not give it away to Facebook. Maybe ugly is harsh, but hear me out. In general, this breaks down into two kinds of instructors, prominent YouTubers in creative fields or industry practitioners with a significant social following. Do you see a problem there? I understand that it is a great growth strategy to capitalize on YouTubers bringing their massive audience, but I wish they would create opportunities for amazing talents that are not known. It seems also that Monthly is focusing on the music industry. I was not creating music though. Monthly? Are you okay? Monthly annual membership is $200. So because I FOMO'd, I paid only for one class $249. For example, with masterclass with famous people and high quality videos, the cheapest annual subscription you can get is around $218. <laughs> to learn from one of the best YouTubers and see his behind the scenes. Do you want to create spontaneous vlogs and tell better stories while on the go? You have experience with cameras and editing software. You are a super duper Casey fan and you miss him on YouTube. This class pushed me to publish my first YouTube video. For me, it is worth more than $249. Please subscribe, I'll publish more videos. Bye! Pulling off his glasses. Oh.